All right, good morning, everybody. See, lots of you are reading the screen. If you haven't done so already, take a peek. You're gonna need a soccer ball, have your water bottle close by so we can spend most of our time working. Um, anything that you have around you to use as a cone uh, could be a dog toy, a Kleenex box, a variety of things that are available to you, a couple socks, anything like that, toys, um, to be able to just maneuver the ball and dribble around, and then a couch or wall that's A-OK -okay for you to pass the ball against. If you've got a laundry basket or even any type of basket around, that'll be great. If not, no worries. We'll see kind of what we get towards, um, but we are ready for some fun work. So, I can't see the screen share. Is anybody else having issues with that? Let me try it again. Can you see it now, Asher? Yeah. So everybody's got all this stuff. We'll uh, get going. So, these are a few things that we'll go through today, um, but I am happy to add in or take out some stuff, but depending on what this group that's here today wants to work on. So we've got some juggling planks, maneuvering the ball with the bottom of our foot, burpees, bear crawls, passing, um, and a variety of things that way. So with that being said, we don't need to spend too much time going over it, but just a small little snapshot. Does anybody have anything in mind that uh, we've done this and I've really enjoyed that, or I'd really like to work on uh, juggling patterns a bit more today, anything like that? If not, no worries. All right, cool. Well, I'm Delaney, everybody, and I'm happy to be spending this morning with you. So thanks for hopping on. All right, first things first, everybody hop up, grab your soccer ball. Let's juggle, try and keep it feet only. And I've got some of my items already set up here with a few shoes. Oops, feet only, start it on the ground if you can. If you can't, no problem. You can start it in your hands and trying to keep it going back and forth. Ready, set, go. There we go. Nice, Ethan. Right for the camera. <laughs> that was cool. Don't ignore your other foot. Make sure you're giving attention to both sides. And no problem as we're going through the warm up. If you are juggling and it bounces instead of picking it up and starting again, if you can continue to juggle off that bounce, that's great. Get those feet moving, get underneath the ball. Keep going. Starting to open up, starting to loosen up. All right, and time. Let's go into some high knees. Who can show us? There we go. Ethan's got it up. Trying to bounce quick. And go. High, high, high. You can keep those knees and those ankles parallel to the ground when you are at the highest point. That's great. Start to get that heart rate up. Heart rate really high. Breathing. Good job and time. All right, let's switch into butt kicks. Hayden was showing us some butt kicks. Hayden, can you show us again? Heel, heel to bottom, quick off the ground. Ready, go. Get those heels all the way, all the way up, all the way up. Work, work, work. 
and time. Good job. All right, grab your soccer ball. Now juggling with any surface. So if you can, start it on the ground. If not, you can pop it up, get your thigh under it. Be careful with all your breakable things around. Lots and lots of touches today. About 10 more seconds. And time. All right. Leave the soccer ball. Find some space where you can do some jumping jacks. Feet together, arms down at your side, feet apart, arms up really high. Want to see if you can get your arms to swing all the way from down by your thighs to all the way up high and see if you can get those tips to touch. So really, really high. Ready, set, go. Big arm swings, big arm swings. Very good. Get those arms all the way up over your head, all the way up, all the way up, big swings. There we go. Good stuff, Riley. 10 seconds left, keep going. Mace, get those fingers all the way over your head. There you go. And time. All right. Good stuff. Who's got a pat or a juggling pattern that we could start off with today? Specific pattern to juggle in. Anybody? No? Okay, I got one. Let's start it here and see if you can go foot, thigh, catch. Do the other foot, foot, thigh, catch. See how many you can get in 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. Foot, thigh, catch, very good. Ready to move. You're close, Hayden. Lots of those are bouncing in the perfect spot. Try with your thigh next time instead of catching it. Foot, thigh, then catch. Foot, ooh, almost. And time. How many did we get? Four. For Mr. Anderson, thanks. What else did we get? Ooh, Caitlin Lindine with nine, Asher with four, very good. Five for Miss Hansen, Riley with five. Great, okay, let's try the opposite way now. Okay, opposite way. So now you can start it in your hands, no problem. Foot, or thigh, foot, catch. Thigh, foot, catch. Thigh, foot, catch. 30 seconds, ready, set, go. And time. All right, let's go to some open the gates, close the gates. You should warm up these little hip muscles. Okay, so foot out in front, roll to the side, down. You can jog in place a little bit, out to the front, out to the side, down. Should start to wake your body up a little bit more because we're gonna do some stuff a little bit later that's gonna require opening up. And this will help our bodies be able to do that. OK, 
Okay, let's close the gate. Other way, so now plant foot, other legs out, and then I roll it forward. Out, roll forward, and I'm just rolling through my hip joint. All right, good job. Grab your soccer ball. Let's do uh, one more juggling competition. Gonna see who can get the most. One minute, does that sound good? One minute for uh, ultimate high score and especially your high score. Okay, ready, set, go. I think I have to have it in the direction it looks like. Well, if you need to stand back. Good morning, everybody that just hopped on. We're juggling. Juggling for about 15 more seconds. Any surface, trying to get your ultimate high score. And time. Hands up. Anybody beat their high score? Ooh. Ethan, you got to 10 or you beat your high score? What'd you get? I got 10. 10. Good job, Ethan. Ben, what do you got? I got six. Six. Good stuff. Riley, saw your hand up. What'd you have? I got, um, well, I didn't beat my score. I was just showing that I got nine. Oh, nice. John, what'd you get? 23. 23, good stuff. Did anybody else have their hand up? Alexa, what'd you get? Um, I got 14. Good job, good job, good job. If you didn't beat your high score, this is an excellent thing to work on with your first touch and everything like that. All right, everybody check my space here. I want you to do the same thing. Find a couple items. So I've got a couple shoes here, I'll start one. Take one, about two steps, grab my other item. One, two, and one more item, maybe four or five. Okay, everybody get something that looks kind of like that. I've got one more little ball right here. So I'm just using shoes that I had over here and a couple dog toys that I found. And we're gonna dribble through these spaces. Okay. Nice. Some of us have cones. Very good. If you've got the space, you can go up to even having maybe six or seven cones. If you don't have the space, having just three or four is okay. We can still do lots of work through there. Okay. Look at me. We're going to start at the end. Okay. So I'm at one end of my line and I'm just going to Dribble through, trying to weave as fast as I can. Once I get to the end, that's one. And then I go back the other way. And that would be two, okay? Any surface of my feet, trying to move as fast as we can. We'll go for a minute, get as many as you can. Count how many you get. So from one end to the other equals one, okay? I got my watch. Ready, set, go. Nice. Like I said, if you've got the ability to turn your camera on, please do so I can help you out and see you. If not, no problem. Enjoy the work. Good stuff. Move as quick as you can. 15 seconds left. These are shorter than our juggling rounds. 
Very good. And time. Okay. Um, who can show us what a burpee looks like? Anybody got a good demo of a burpee? Go ahead, Ethan. There you go. He's backing up. Jump, reach high, go. All right, very good. Alexa, can you show us a burpee where you add a push up in the bottom? Okay, very good. Up high, jump, kick your feet back. Very good. So look at me from the side. I'm jumping up, reaching as high as I can. Hands down, kick my feet back, push up, jump my feet in, and then again. Okay, everybody, let's do eight burpees. Eight. Ready, set, go. Don't forget the push up. Jump high, jump really high. Try and touch the ceiling. Very good. And when you're done, back to your line, your line of stuff. Okay, make sure you can see me. If you need to get close to your screen, no problem. Uh, now we're gonna do it a little bit different. I'm gonna try and go backwards. And weave through, traveling backwards. Ready for the challenge? Okay, same thing, keep your count. See if you can match or beat your score from going forward. All right, everybody up. Ready, set, go. There we go. What surface of your foot will help you move the ball easiest? Good job, 15 seconds left. Keep your work really high, work right high. Nice, Alexa's using the bottom of her foot. Got lots of bottoms of the feet moving around now. Good, and time. All right, this is gonna be a big part of our workout. We just talked about burpees, now let's do seven. We just did eight, everybody do seven. Burpees, ready, set, go. Here we go, up, 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 keep going, jump high. Jump really high at the top. Good work, everybody. Nice. When you do these burpees at the end, you should feel like, Whoa. okay, that's the goal after every burpee. Everybody grab a quick sip of water. And then we're gonna go back to our line and it's gonna be right foot only, okay? Go right foot only. Now I'm traveling using any surface of my foot to get through with my right foot, spinning around. And as I get going, as I get a good rhythm, who can tell me how you can challenge yourself a little bit more? Anybody? Close your eyes. I mean, that would be very hard. So Ben's not wrong. That would absolutely be a challenge. Like one, touch? like one touch between the cones? Sure, so you could try and take less touches, but still have it controlled. Asher, what do you think? Going backwards or going faster? Yeah, so let's try this. Let's try and go, if you get a good rhythm, your job is to go as fast as you can and take touches that keep you close to your marker. So it's really, really controlled. It doesn't get far away. Everybody got that? All right, here you go on your feet, 45 seconds. Ready, set, go. Right foot only, right foot only. Good. Work hard. 
work hard. If it slips out, can you hop across to get it instead of using your left foot? Could you maybe touch the ball at the outside of your right foot? Very good. Push yourself. It's looking good, everybody. 15 seconds left. And time. All right, a little bit more work for us today. I think we're at six burpees. Who's got it? Ready, set, go. Six burpees. There you go. Good push up. <laughs> Riley, do a push up too, lady. Kick those feet back. There you go. And don't forget to jump high. Nice. Good work. Burpees are tough and they get tiring, but if you do them all the way, it's going to really help, help keep your heart healthy and your fitness level in a good spot. Good job, everybody. Back to your line. Same thing that we just did, except now it's left foot only. And let's see, is there anybody that's left footed on here? If you're left footed, I want you, okay, we got John's left footed, Gabriel's left footed, Alexa's left footed, Brooke is left footed. I think that's everybody that had their hand up. If you're in that left footed crew, you should get way more, way, way more than you did with your right foot. If you are right footed, let's see if you can match your number or beat it. Challenge yourself to match your number or beat it from your right foot, all right? So if I got seven last time and I am right footed, I'm going to try and get at least seven or more with my left foot right now. Okay, everybody up at your cones or at your markers, whatever you've got. See why it's got some flip flops. Ben's got cones. Alexa's got cones. Ready, set, go. Left foot only, left foot only. Inside, outside, laces, bottom. You've got all sorts of surfaces to help control the ball. Nice, Alexa's got a good rhythm going. There we go, who's this? Jacob, good stuff, Jacob Crawford. <laughs> 10 seconds left, keep going. And time. Where are lefties at? Did you beat it by a big number? You get a thumbs up? Yeah, Brooke did. Good stuff, Brooke. Gabriel, yep. Ooh, John got a party. Woohoo. Good job, John. Alexa, did you beat it? Were you lefty too? Yeah, good stuff. What about our righties? Did you beat it or get close? Tie it? Yeah? All right. Um, let's do this. Everybody, we'll go back to our line. And now we're gonna do some roll catches. So I'll start on this side. But if it's on the right side of my line, I'm gonna use my right foot. Roll, catch with my left. Roll, catch with my left. Or roll with my left, catch with my right. Or roll with my right, catch with my left. Get the rhythm. And then you wanna try and roll the ball through the cones or through your markers really fast. So you have to catch it with your other foot. So it's quick, quick movements. All right, ready, set, go. Roll it, catch it with the other foot and then roll it. So you're taking a touch to catch it, then a touch to roll it. There we go. Ethan, good job, that looks good. Caitlin, you zoomed by the camera, good speed. About five seconds left. And time, all right. Everybody on the ground, we're gonna do a plank. 
Okay, so it's going to be on our forearms and on our toes. We don't want to look like this. And we don't want to look like this. Okay, so we want our back to be strong. And I'm going to try and suck my belly button into my back or into my spine. And that'll help me keep my core really, really engaged. Okay, let's see. It, we'll go 40 seconds. So this is going to be a long one, 40, four zero. I've got my watch on it. We'll all do it together. Okay, ready, set, go. Keep going, 10 seconds left. Nine, good job. Good job, everybody. All right, today's gonna be a hard one. Let's go do a side plank. So now I'm gonna have, let me make sure you can see all right. You know, both my feet stacked, so my bottom leg is going to be on the bottom and my top leg is going to be on top of that. And I'll push up so I'm balancing my shoulder. I don't want to be like this, where I'm reaching really, really far. And I don't want to be like this, where I'm in a weird shape. So I want my elbow to be directly under my shoulder. Okay, we'll do this one for 30 seconds. All right, everybody pick a side. Ready, set, go. This top arm, you can put it up. You can reach down and reach up if this is easy. This is really easy for you. You can put your top leg up like that, or you can just stay just like this. 10 seconds left. And down. All right, swing around to the other side. Same thing, remember the elbows directly below that shoulder so I can be really strong and I'm tight through my core, my belly. All right, ready, up. Halfway, 15 seconds left. And down, good job everybody. Okay, grab a drink. And I'll get this next thing set up so you guys can do what I do. All right. So I've made like a little V shape with my markers or if you have cones and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on just dribbling in a triangle, okay? So when I go forward, I'm dribbling outside with that foot or with my outside foot to the shape. When I get to the top, I'm rolling. And then when I get to the other side, going backwards, I'm gonna do toe touches to go back. We got it, or do you wanna see it again? And if you don't want, need to see it again, don't feel like you have to answer. If I hear nothing, we're gonna keep moving. Again. Again, okay. So if I go this way first, this side is the outside of my triangle shape. So I'm dribbling forward. Then when I get to the top, I'm rolling across with the bottom of my foot. So rolling over it and then toe touches back to the start. And then I do the same thing. 
okay? So I'm moving as quickly as I can to get around the triangle as many times as I can. In mine, I probably have two big steps between all of my markers. So it's not crazy big, okay? Two pretty big steps, okay? Dribbling forward with the leg that's close or furthest outside of the shape. Roll across your body and the toe touches back. We're gonna stay going the same direction and we'll go for 30 seconds. We'll take a little rest and we'll go the other way. All right, is everybody ready? Set, go. Nice. Very good. Forward, rolling over. Good, Alexa, that's good. When you do those toe touches back, you can use both legs too. And time. Good job, take a little rest right here. Uh, let's see, Parker, can you make your triangle bigger? If you can, make it a little bigger. There you go. All right, going the other way. So whatever direction you went, have the same starting spot, but now go forward the other side. So you should be going forward with the other foot, rolling across your body with the other foot, and then toe touches to pull the ball back. And like I said, you can use both feet. Some of us were uh, doing this, one foot, that's okay. Or you can do reverse toe touches just like this, okay? Rolls with both feet, okay? Here we go. Everybody ready at your starting cone? Try and beat your last score. Ready, set, go. There we go, looking good, Wyatt. Good stuff, John. Three seconds left and time. Good job. Anybody beat it the second time going the other way? Do you have any scores beaten? Close, ooh, we got one. Riley did. I tied right. it. Who said that, Lucas? Asher did. All right, here's the next one. Everybody check this out. I'm gonna start at this cone and I'm going to dribble forward to attack one of my other markers. So let me make sure you can kind of see it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a pullback that makes me turn all the way. When I get back to the starting spot, maybe I'll do an inside cut or an outside chop, anything like that. But I'm always gonna attack one outside foot, do a pullback, get over here, go to my other side, pull back with the other foot, okay? So the important part here is that you want enough space to be able to accelerate away from your pullback, okay? So if your V looks more like this or even just two cones so you have some more space, that's okay. But you wanna be able to do your pullback and then take a at least one, two if you can, quick steps before you cut to go back the other way, all right? We've got, let's do 30 seconds of work. Ready, everybody up. At a starting spot, ready, set, go. All right, good job, everybody. Keep going halfway through the round, halfway. Good job, pull back. Five seconds left. And time. All right, check out my feet right now as we do this. 
Okay. So when I do a pullback, I'm dribbling, dribbling, dribbling right at you guys. Foot's on top of the ball. I'm gonna roll and I wanna turn my body all the way around. Okay, so have enough space where you can roll and get going the other way. And then I dribble back, foot on top of the ball, roll and turn all the way around. Okay, everybody got that? We're gonna go one more time, 30 seconds. Okay, ready, set, go. Good job, 15 seconds left. Five seconds, keep your work rate high. Keep going, Ben, keep going, Ben. And time, good stuff. All right, grab a drink if you need one. We're gonna go through a couple more rounds of some passing and a little bit uh, more, some more fun fitness stuff. Okay, so grab a drink if you need one. Otherwise, this is what you need. You need to find the space where you're gonna pass against. Okay, a space to pass against. And then you just need to get two of your markers. So I'll use a shoe and a shoe. Okay, and I'm just gonna take one, two, two nice big steps to have some room to work in, okay? Get that set up for yourself. Okay, good. Jacob, that space looks good. Okay, here we go. Looks like we're set up. All right, we're gonna start off with some passing. So you guys are sitting. I'll make sure you understand. I'm just gonna pass against that part of my couch. So I'm gonna sit you guys right on top of that couch. So I'm passing right towards you, okay? And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be on my toes, pass with my right foot and do some one touch passes, okay? So every time it comes to me, I have my heel down, my toe up and I'm going through the middle of the ball, okay? And I'm always moving my feet a little bit so I can adjust and play the ball decently, okay? Everybody's ready, set, go. Right foot only, right foot only. Nice and balanced on your feet. Very good. Five seconds left. And time. All right, everybody find your markers. Okay, the markers or cones that you have. You can see mine here. We're gonna do uh, just some figure eight bear crawls. Okay, so a bear crawl. I'm on my hands and I'm on my toes. And I'm crawling slowly and controlled to do a figure eight through my markers, okay? And it's important, so this, just hands and uh, toes are on the ground, okay? Really controlled and tummy is tight, okay? We're gonna go for 25 seconds, okay? 25 seconds of work. Ready, set, go. Very good, Parker, that's great. Good, Ben, Jacob, that's good. And time, all right. Now, whatever direction you were going, you're gonna go the other way. And we'll do the same thing, bear crawls again. Ready, set, go. Tummy strong. Very good. 
The stronger you get, the more your back will be flat with the ground, so parallel to the ground. It means you're using a lot of your core strength. And time. All right, everybody back to your passing spot. I've got my camera here. I'm doing the same thing. So I'm still passing with my, uh, I'm gonna pass with my left foot now. So the other foot that I was using, but really important when I pass that I don't do this, okay? If I do this with my upper body, what's gonna happen to my pass, anybody? Who can tell me, Jacob? The ball's gonna like go up more instead of just like a solid pass. Yeah, it's gonna go up a little more. It's not gonna be a solid pass. And we wanna have really solid passes so we can work really fast. So this is what everybody's upper body should look like when you pass. Your shoulders are down a little bit in your head and you're getting over the top of the ball, okay? So we'll go again for 30 seconds. Ready? Everybody up, set, go. Halfway, keep going. Good, good stuff, Parker. Wyatt, good luck. That looks good. Riley, good stuff. And time. All right, everybody, quick five burpees. Just five, five burpees, and then we'll do one more passing activity and then we'll wrap up for the day because you guys have put in some seriously good work this morning. This is awesome. <clears throat> good energy, everybody. One more passing thing. Okay, I'll show you my feet. Okay, I'm still at my passing station. Now there'll be some variety. So when I play the ball in, I'm gonna receive it with that same foot. So I can receive it with the inside and pass it with the other one or I can play it in and I can receive it with the outside of my other foot and then play it back. Okay, so maybe I'll make a decision based off of how the ball comes into me. Okay, meaning if it comes into the foot that I passed with, I'll receive it with the inside of that foot and push it across. If it comes back to my other foot, I can receive it with the outside of that foot, push it into a little bit new space and then make a new pass. Do you wanna see it again? No, we're ready? Ready to work? Okay, last one. We're gonna go for one minute of work and then we'll wrap it up. All right, everybody, head in the game, stay focused. Focus for this last little bit. Ready, set, go. Feet are moving. Good, Jacob, that looks good. Stuff Parker, Hayden, good job. There we go, Brooke. Alexa, you've got some good pace on those passes. Henry, I can't see your feet, but I see you moving around a lot. That's good, good energy, buddy. Over halfway, keep up the work. Remember, keep that ankle locked so those passes are still quality. Heel down and your toe is up. 10 seconds left, keep your work rate really high. Can you get four more, four more? And time. All right, good job everybody. How you feeling? Good. All right, hopefully that was a really nice wake up for you. I'm gonna share my screen one more time so I can help remind you uh, what's coming next for you guys. So this is what we just did this morning, way to show up and way to get through it. Very good work, all of you. There's uh, athletic development tomorrow night and then you've got two things available to you on Monday, one on Tuesday, one on Wednesday. These are all in your team snaps, just like you were able to find this one. You can see them on our social media as well. Remember, you don't have to come to everyone, but obviously all of us at Salvo love to see your smiling faces every morning 
or afternoon or evening whenever we can. Um, but you can always find them afterwards on YouTube as well. All right. Everybody, it was nice to see you. Thanks for hanging out with me this morning. I'll see you guys yeah. next week. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you.